Hello, hello. So I wanted to talk about Jet's feature today called Jet's Afterburner. So Jet's Afterburner, let's see what that's all about. Uh, it's under the doc section here. It's actually under Rails support, so you can guess. Uh, Jet's Afterburner mode, what it does is it allows you to deploy a Rails application pretty much with one command. So uh, this is how it works. You just install Jet's and then you run Jet's deploy in, within your Rails application. So I'll give you a quick demo of this right now. Okay, so I'm gonna actually show you also this blog tutorial put together uh, where it just does the, pretty much the same thing as that uh, those documentation pages. I'm just gonna grab that URL, that's git cloning down this repo. So that's cd into that repo, Rails. And you do have to do one thing, you have to go create a, a dot jet slash app dot env file if you need things like database URL. So we're gonna go ahead and go do that real quick. So here is the project and we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder, dot jets. Then uh, another one, new folder, app. And then I actually have a dot env file here, I prepared it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it into there. So that's what you need. And I'm also gonna show you the uh, .env file. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this username and password, but I'm just throwing away this. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna be throwing away the database right after this video. So there's the adapter. There's the username. Here's the password. Here is the uh, host name, and here is the database name. Okay, so that's what you need to configure, and we're actually pretty much ready to go. So jets deploy, enter, and then I'll kind of explain what's going on. So Rails app detected enabling jets afterburner to deploy to AWS Lambda. And that's literally it. It's now basically creating your application and it's deploying to AWS Lambda. So this deploy is gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and come back so we don't all have to wait. Okay, so the deploy has completed. So at the end of deployment, it spits out uh, actually a URL. That URL is the API gateway URL. And I'm just gonna go to it right here. And so this is our Rails application now on serverless and AWS Lambda. Uh, this is just an info page. This, uh, it's a um, demo application, a Rails application. And you actually go create there's a books crud, uh, kind of essential crud here. So you can go ahead and create a book here. Let's create a book. Let's edit a book. Okay, let's edit that one. Let's go back. Let's create, I guess, another one, book two. But there you have it. That is Rails now running on AWS Lambda and it was only literally one command. Uh, so more information and documentation is about it right here on the Rails support documentation on the rubyonjets.com documentation site. There's also a blog post. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like this feature. Uh, I think it's a, a pretty smooth flow and I, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you like videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to watch more future videos like this. Uh, and uh, especially since I'm probably gonna be making some pretty uh, good updates around uh, Afterburner uh, after this, so particularly around uh, binary gem support. And then also uh, just if you can, well, really, really, really appreciate it if you go to the Jets repo and give it a star. If you like, uh, you know, this project and you find it interesting, uh, the stars uh, kind of help people find out more about the project and really spread the word. So I really, really appreciate if you do that. But thanks so much, guys, for watching. Cheers.